Oh, Yankee Toodle went to town riding on a pony. Stuck a feather in his hat and called it macaroni. Yankee Doodle, keep it up. Yankee Doodle dandy. Mind the music and the step and with the girls be handy. Spring Chinook are pretty finicky when conditions are abnormal. April and early May are their most significant times for Spring Chinook movement over the Bonneville Dam. This April and May, there have been none. Coastal Chinook and Coho, Steelhead and Cutthroat Trout can be saved. Landowners and managers play an important part in this effort. Whether your land covers hundreds of acres or a residential lot in town, you can help. The first way is by simply being aware of your place in the watershed and of your local fish runs. The second way is to help provide the habitat conditions the fish I need. My girl, don't lie to me. Tell me where did you sleep last night? Come on, tell me, baby. In the pond, in the pond, where the sun don't ever shine. I was shivered you all night through. My girl, my girl, where will you go? I'm going where the cold wind blows. Where's that, baby? In the pond, in the pond, where the sun don't ever shine. I wish you would go all night through. My girl, my girl, don't you lie to me. Tell me where. Watersheds are the circulatory system of the landscape draining the ridge tops through streams and then rivers and finally to a single point, such as a lake or the ocean. Rain and snow recycle the water to the ridge tops. Chinook make use of different parts of the watershed, depending on their stage of development and their life history strategy. Fire, landslides, erosion, and flooding are normal parts of a stream's existence, helping to create and maintain the habitat in which salmon and other species have evolved over time. For example, Chinook salmon eggs rely on strong water flow through the gravel nests in which they are laid to provide enough oxygen to grow and develop. The creation of this habitat depends on the periodic disturbances that naturally occur within a watershed. Human activities sometimes modify the watershed too drastically or too frequently, exaggerating the natural disturbances to a stream with consequences detrimental to fish survival. Functioning watersheds are important to us as to fish. We've come to depend on them timber, suitable land for farming and grazing, and drinking and irrigation water. The land areas that people manage provide large wood, boulders, gravel, shade, and food that build healthy stream habitats for salmon. It's a fact. We all live in the watershed. We need to care for the watershed, not only for our own use, but also for the survival of many life forms.